But David had trust in God, and God saw that trust, that faith, so vital to rely upon him. He writes these words in Psalm 28, verse number 7, The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me, and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Let me read you the last verse before I do. I'll just mention something relative to this that I think might be important to hear. What I'm going to tell you in the next few moments is my opinion. It's not nowhere in the Bible, okay? It's Pastor Dale's ideas, okay? I'm going to separate that out really quickly, okay? But here's a thought that I have. David had a number of sons, but one of the sons that David had was a man by the name of Solomon, right? Solomon, David's son. Solomon's one that built the temple that David wanted to build. Solomon was a man that was known to have great wisdom. He was known as the wisest man that ever lived. And so how did Solomon get his wisdom? Well, obviously God gave him his wisdom, but here's my theory. Okay, here's my theory too. I believe that some of Solomon's wisdom came from his daddy, David. Because if you're a dad, you certainly want to give whatever wisdom you have to your kids. I can't prove this in the Bible, but I kind of believe that there were times that, that David would have some conversations with Solomon, and Solomon carried on the wisdom that he learned from his father. And so the book of Proverbs is a reflection of the wisdom of Solomon coming from God and perhaps even perhaps coming from his dad. I don't know. Is this possible? Would you agree it's possible? Right? And so Solomon, David's son, writes these words that are very powerful to us, and with this we conclude today in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Perhaps David said, Solomon, here's the way you live your life, to have the kind of life that God wants you to have trust in God with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him. He'll make your path straight. And then Solomon perhaps passed it on to us as the wisdom of God to live our lives that way.